Hi, hello. Welcome back to Max Ninjas. Today we are going to study the new chapter, chapter number seven. Name of this chapter is congruence of triangles. What do you mean by congruence of triangle? Before starting this section, we have to study what is the congruency between two line segments and two angles. In this class, we are going to study the congruence between two line segments. For that, we have to take two line segments, line segment AB and line segment CD. So, I have bought two line segments, line segment AB and line segment ZD. So, for finding are these two lines congruent, we have to keep one line over the other. That means on the point A, I have to keep this point C exactly. See? And I am going to check does the point B matches with the point D. See? These two line segments are equal. If you are keeping one line segment over the other, we can say that and it covers exactly. We can say that these two line segments are congruent. Okay. I have bought one more pair of line segments. Line segment PQ. Line segment PQ and line segment RS. We are going to check does this pair is congruent. See, just keep the point R on point P and check does the point S exactly lies on point P. Q. Is it lying on point Q? Does S exactly lying on point Q? No, it is not matching. That means line segment PQ does not cover line segment RS. So definitely we can say that line segment PQ is not congruent to line segment RS. Okay. From these two examples we can say that if two line segments have same length, we can say that these two lines are congruent. If two lines are not having same length, we can say that these two lines are not congruent. Okay, I am going to write down here. If two lines are having same length, Here two lines are AB and CD. That means they are congruent. In the same way, we can say that if two lines are congruent, the two lines have same length. Okay. If two lines are congruent, means these two lines having same length. I can write down instead of two lines having same length. Instead of that, I can write down line segment AB. How can we mark line segment AB? After writing AB, just put a line over that. Line segment AB equal to line segment. What is the name of this line segment? Line segment CD. 
implies what does it indicates they are congruent they means line segment ab and line segment cd what is the symbol for congruency see this is the symbol for congruency okay so they are congruent instead of that i can write down line segment ab is congruent to not equal to is congruent to line segment cd okay instead of this if two lines are congruent means ab is line segment ab is congruent to line segment cd means that implies they have same length that means line segment ab equal to line segment cd instead of these two statements i am going to write it like this if two line segments have same length if two lines have same length see this is the notation i am going to apply here if two lines have same length that means they are congruent this means that this notation means that you can read from the left to right and from the left right to the left that means if two lines have same length they are congruent if they are congruent the two lines having same length this means that ab line segment ab is congruent to line segment cd implies both way ab equal to cd line segment ab equal to cd that means you can read it in both ways okay i hope you enjoyed my class if you have any doubt about the concept of this congruency please definitely ask to me through comment box if you like my video please like share and subscribe and support me signing off amy bijoy from max ninjas